China has long been recognized as an engine for growth in the aviation industry. Its airlines are rapidly expanding, and both domestic and international air travel demand continues to skyrocket. Not wanting to cede all of the increased demand for aircraft to Airbus and Boeing, the Chinese government established the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, or COMAC, in 2008. Since then, COMAC has released the C919, an aeroplane with 168 to 174 seats that is meant to compete with Airbus and Boeing. Welcome to Kings of Luxury! Today, in this video, we will look at the all-new passenger aircraft from China, the COMAC C919. Does this aircraft have the capabilities to make a breakthrough in the aviation industry? Make sure to watch till the end to find out. The C919 is a narrow-body airliner developed by Chinese aircraft manufacturer COMAC. The Chinese are not the first to attempt to break into the narrow-body passenger aircraft market. Companies such as Airbus were successful with the launch of the A320 in the late 1980s, while others such as Dassault with the Mercure in the mid-1970s failed. The C919 may or may not reach the heights of the A320, but the Chinese domestic market has the potential to propel the aircraft to a moderate level of success. On 9th December 2022, China Eastern Airlines was the first company to acquire the world's first COMAC C919 aircraft. It is the first time a large Chinese passenger plane has been built to international airworthiness standards with its own intellectual property rights, which represents a significant advancement for China's aviation industry. This aircraft will compete directly with the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737. The aeroplane has been in development for a while. Production of the prototype started in December 2011, and the first one was finished on November 2, 2015, and took its first flight on May 5, 2017. The aircraft received its airworthiness certification from the Civil Aviation Administration of China on 29 September 2022. The aircraft is currently set for full commercial use in the spring of 2023, with its maiden route allegedly going between Shanghai and Beijing. COMAC C919 Design Shanghai is the center of the C919's design and manufacturing. Similar to Airbus and Boeing, the various C919 components are manufactured by third parties. The flaps, ailerons, wing panels, and center and outer wing boxes, for example, will be manufactured in Xi'an, China. The sections of the fuselage will be fabricated in Yangshi province. These components will be assembled in Shanghai to complete the C919 product. Most of the airframe of the C919 makes use of aluminum alloys, with the center wing box making use of carbon fiber composite materials. There are still a significant number of components supplied by foreign manufacturers. This is not unusual, as both Boeing and Airbus employ the same production strategy for their respective airliners. The aircraft's dimensions are comparable to those of the Airbus A320. The aircraft measures 38.9 meters in length, 35.8 meters in wingspan, and 11.95 meters in height. The aircraft fuselage will be 3.96 meters wide and 4.16 meters tall. Cabin and Avionics the C919 cabin will be 3.9 meters wide and 2.25 meters tall. The plane comes with an efficient air filtration system, a passenger-centric lighting system, and low noise. The aircraft's passenger model can accommodate up to 170 passengers. COMAC plans to manufacture six distinct aircraft models, including business jets, passenger aircraft, shrunk passenger versions, and freighters. The C919's avionics system will be designed by GE and AVIC Systems. Avionics will include systems for core processing, display, and onboard maintenance. The flight deck of the C919 closely resembles that of the Airbus, with a side-mounted joystick controlling the fly-by-wire system in place of the standard control column. Modern instrumentation includes two 15.4-inch main display screens in front of each pilot and a 12.5-inch side display screen below the window. In addition, the C919 will be available with a head-up display. This is used in fighter jets to project instrument data onto a window in front of the pilot, allowing them to monitor data such as airspeed, altitude, and other information without having to look down. Engine and Performance the aircraft will be propelled by two CFM International Leap 1C engines with thrust between 25,000 and 30,000 pounds. 
The aircraft has a range of 4,075 kilometers. The aircraft's payload capacity will be 20.4 tons. The cruise speed of the aircraft will be 0.78 Mach and the maximum altitude will be 12,100 meters. The basic version of the aircraft has a range of 4,075 kilometers, while the extended version has a range of 5,555 kilometers. Currently, COMAC relies fairly heavily on international components, including the aircraft's engines and control systems. An alternative engine called the CJ-1000A is under development with the hope that more or all of its airplane's components will be made nationally. Time will tell how the C919 fares and how much less dependent it may become on Western components further down the line. Price While Comac does not publish a list of prices for the C919, sources such as Forbes estimate the price to be around $99 million. The C919 price from state-owned Comac is nearly twice the industry estimate of $50 million, putting the aircraft in line with its Western counterparts. A Boeing 737-8 has a list price of $121.6 million, while an Airbus A320neo has a list price of $110.6 million. It is essential to keep in mind that, depending on the order size, airlines will only pay a fraction of the actual list price, with discounts of up to 50% being fairly common. But a $99 million list price does make the C919 a tough sell outside its home market. C919 Advantages and Disadvantages The major advantage of the C919 is availability. The order backlog for the C919 is much smaller than that for the Airbus A320neo series, and it doesn't have problems like the Boeing 737 MAX, which has been grounded and will take years to fix. This means that airlines can get their hands on the C919 sooner rather than later. This means that you get all the benefits of a new plane without having to wait or deal with production delays. And since China is known for mass production, you can be sure that Comac will be able to deliver quickly once the airframe is fully tested and rolling out. Besides, the C919 is likely going to get cheaper. Because Comac has ties to the Chinese government, it can bend trade rules for the C919 and help airlines get the extra money they need to buy it instead of a Boeing or Airbus plane. Emerging countries might be able to buy two C919s for the price of one Boeing 737 or one Comac plane for the price of a used Airbus A320. However, there are a few drawbacks to choosing the C919 that airlines must consider. The aircraft is currently unproven. While it flies, it hasn't performed any revenue services yet, and the jury is still out on whether it's a good aircraft for commercial aviation. There might be some flaws or hiccups that would hinder airlines' growth. Emerging centers, such as those in Africa, are so far away from China that it will take months to resolve any significant maintenance issues. Comac lacks the same parts network, MRO, and AOG services as Boeing and Airbus, and there will be no international maintenance centers at this time. An airline will lose millions in revenue if it takes months to obtain an aircraft component. Lastly, there is the matter of training. Numerous developing nations expedite the pilot recruitment process by employing experienced pilots who are already type-rated for their airline fleet, such as European A320 pilots. In the case of the C919, however, neither pilots nor training facilities exist outside of China. Emerging nations must solve this logic puzzle before they can launch, and at the end of the day, they may wonder if it is worth their time to stick with more conventional aircraft. The Comac C919's moment in the spotlight has yet to arrive. It is a fantastic aircraft, but it will require many years of service in China before other nations can consider it. Comac will need to invest heavily in other countries to ensure that the support infrastructure is included in any sales plan and that the aircraft is as reliable as a Boeing 737 or Airbus A320. Emerging and budget-conscious airlines should look to the secondary market for dependable aircraft with existing support and readily available parts. But what do you think? Will the Comac C919 be able to succeed? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload, and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in our next video.